Welcome to Cooking While Drunk presents Cooking with Princesses. Cheers! Ah. Cheers? Mmm. <laughs> Annika is having... <laughs> what are you having? Orange juice? With, 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 a, with some lemon and, and ice and some, and some sparkling water. And I'm sipping on some grapefruit flavored vodka from Hideout. It's made in California. It's a small batch. It's made in uh, Scotts Valley. Uh, actually, the company name is called You Blend It. <laughs> um, usually, blended or flavored vodkas usually have a lower alcohol content. This one is 80 proof. So, yeah, it's full, full force. And it is delicious. That's what. Wow. Mm -hmm. Followed by a little bit of sparkling water. Today we're going to make, what are we making? Jambalaya. Jambalaya. <laughs> yes, we're going to make jambalaya. <laughs> jambalaya is a uh, Cajun staple. It's just andouille sausage, some chicken. Uh, I've got two stalks of celery and one um, red bell pepper. You're supposed to use green, but it actually went bad. And onion. So. Onion, celery, and green bell pepper is what's known as Trinity in uh, Louisiana. I've got some, about three, it calls for three cloves of garlic, but you know me. I had to move it up to five. We have uh, our diced um, tomatoes, some Worcestershire sauce, one and a quarter cup of regular uh, long grain rice. And at the season, we have um, our Cajun seasoning, which I made myself. I will post a recipe. This just, um, Onion powder, garlic powder, oregano, thyme, uh, cayenne pepper, paprika, and some chili flakes. Now, because Annika's gonna have some, I kind of left out the chili flakes and the uh, cayenne pepper. Because she doesn't like spicy food yet. All right, so shall we get started? Annika? Yes? Dad, how many times? How many times what? To tell you that I don't like mushrooms or I don't like spice. I know, I just said that. I told him that. Look at them. Tell, I just told them, right? I just said she doesn't like spicy. But when you were in mommy's <coughs> belly, mommy ate spicy almost every day. All right, so what we do first, Annika, if I can have you take this seasoning and pour it on top of the peppers, the, the sausage, I mean. Just dump it all. I separated them out. All right, we're gonna give it a little shake. So, this does. take a little bit of oil. We'll put that in the sink. So, I'm using a uh, Dutch oven, cast iron Dutch oven today. So what I do okay. is I actually preheat it on the stove first. Uh, Cause you know, it's cast iron, it does take time to heat up. So, uh, it's on low. So I usually just put a little bit of water in the bottom and let the water steam out. There we go. We're just going to brown these up. This will take a couple of minutes. So after we brown this up, we're going to add, take them out of the pot. We're going to season the chicken and we're going to brown the chicken. And when we come back, we're going to continue. Oh yeah. How does that smell, Annika? All right, so next we're gonna add our onion, bell pepper, celery, and garlic. Oops. So we got everything all uh, brown. Let me pick that up. So add the garlic. And give this a little stir. This is how everything looks, see? Nice and brown. And the sausage is um, uh, andouille sausage. This one actually is mild, it's not too spicy. This is really good. Oh, and the vodka. Yes, I'll get the hang of the vodka. That I found at Grocery Outlet here in Vallejo. Actually really good. 
I also got a bottle of Tito's, uh, not Tito's, um, hot hole glue. So this is going to take a couple of minutes. All clean? Yep. Oh, good job. All right, time for the rest. All right, so Annika, can you hand me the diced tomatoes? Thank you. We opened those cans for the dam, but I don't know where it is. Can you hand me the salt and pepper? Thank you. So that's um, one teaspoon of regular salt, I, regular table salt, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Can you hand me the filet powder? You know what this is? <coughs> you want to smell? So filet powder is very common in a lot of um, Louisiana Cajun cooking. It's a uh, it's the root or the grass itself, the sassafras grass. Um, and it actually is a thickening agent. Adds a flavor too. So now we're going to add our chicken and andouille sauce. Can you say andouille? Um. Yeah, can you say chicken? What's your favorite part of the chicken? Ketchup. Ketchup? That's not part of the chicken. That goes on the chicken. Do you like the head? Do you like the liver? Liver. I know you love the liver. Tell them, don't tell me. Do you liver. like the do you like the gizzard? Yeah. And the heart? Yeah. Oh yeah. She's been eating chicken hearts and gizzards and liver since she was what, like two years old? Something like that? Uh, how old are you now? So we combine all this in a pot now. So we're gonna let this uh, simmer for about 10 minutes. Cheers. Oh wait, here we go. Watch your elbows. All right, now we're ready to add the next phase. So this is Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. And this is the only one I recommend. I don't get paid to say that. Um, but I will do shots of this if someone wants to pay me 20 bucks. I'm kidding, I'll do it for free. Um, you're gonna use three quarters tablespoon, which is I do about two rounds. One tablespoon's good enough too. This stuff is like gold on everything. Um, I use this one. This one I, is the best. Kraft and some of the other companies. The Kraft one's not so bad. Um, so as a second runner-up, I would get the Kraft. But the other versions, um, they're not so good. Like they have uh, other additives or they have uh, imitation flavors. So real Worcestershire sauce actually has uh, anchovy in it. So it's not... <coughs> Uh, vegetarian, it's not vegan. So, um, I have tried making this from scratch myself. I, I got a recipe from um, Emerald. You know, Emerald, you know, BAM! <laughs> so, him, he actually makes his own for his restaurant. I tried making it, it was more pain than anything. Since I'm not going to go out and buy anchovies, I would go get a pizza. You just rinse them off, dice them up, blend them up. All right, so, next step, we're going to add our rice. This is one and a quarter cup rice. And two and a half cups of chicken stock. That was two cups. And here comes the half. And a half cup of chicken stock. So we're gonna bring this to a boil. After this comes to a boil, we're going to cover and we're going to let it simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes and the rice will be nice and have absorbed a lot of that liquid. Once this comes to a boil, we're going to turn the heat down to very low because we're going to put the lid on and we're going to let it simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes. So we'll be back, we'll have another shot, we'll have some more water and mocktails and then We'll be ready for the final plating. 
Oh, I gotta start the pot. So what you wanna do is about every five minutes or so, give the pot a stir. Cause you don't want things to burn on the bottom. Just give it a little stir. You can see how the liquid's being absorbed now. And then just uh, give it out and then put the lid back on. That's it. So every five to, I don't know, five to eight minutes, give it a stir. If you're not using a cast iron pot, if you're using a thinner pot, you might want to stir a little more often. If you're using an even heavier pot than that, like if enameled pot, maybe stir, you know. You'll know when you need to stir. And if it starts to dry out, you need a little more liquid, just add more chicken stock, or you can cut it with like vegetable stock, or even beef stock, or even just water, but water, it won't be as flavorful. All right, see you in a bit. Ooh. And just so you know, the soda water I'm drinking is just plain soda water made by my favorite toy, the drink me. So we're about done here. Um, I did have to check it and I had to add about another, um, I would say about a quarter cup of uh, the stock. Because it was still a little on the crunchy side. But a little undone. Look at that. Oh. Now, if it develops a crust on the bottom, if it's not burnt, I say get the crust first because in uh, in Spanish culture, you know, that's what they make paella, you know, the big pan. And the crispiness under the pan, that's what everybody wants. Except in America, apparently. I have a friend who made paella for a big group and no one ate the crust. I told him next time, bring me the crust the next day for lunch and I will eat that. So this is our, let me get rid of this. Our jambalaya. Chicken and andouille sausage jambalaya. You can see how the rice is is cooked all the way through. Now for toppings, what do you add? Well, you can add well, whatever you want. You don't really need to add any toppings, but you know, some people just, they want to add chilies to everything and they should, but my wife says I don't have to add chilies to everything and so if I add chilies to it, my, I, my kid can't eat it. So, I will just thinly slice up some serrano and top it off. There we go. Oh, look at all that. It's not really that hard to make. It takes a little bit of time, take a little bit of patience, and I'll have to be honest, this is my first attempt at making it. So, how did I do? A little bit of sausage, a piece of the chicken. Mmm. The red bell pepper added a little sweetness to it. Green bell peppers tend to be a little more earthy and sharp. This is excellent. Mm. I'd give myself two thumbs up. Why? Well, it's my dish. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Thank you very much for watching. Cooking while drunk. Hit that button says subscribe right there. Leave me a note in the comments. Like, what would you like to see me do? This is a wonderful dish I have never made before. So I'm actually looking to explore out. I'm like, I'm gonna try new things. I think in the future, I'm gonna start uh, releasing my uh, barbecue sauces that I make. I love making barbecue sauce. This is Satan's Inferno, and this is standard. So as soon as I get these fine-tuned, I will get those out as soon as I can. But let me know, what do you want me to see me make? All right? Thank you very much for watching. Have a good night.